Hello, I'm Simon Christie and welcome to another big episode of Four Wheel Drive TV. We've got plenty of action and excitement. Let's get into it. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. My name is Min from Vulcan 4x4 Off-Road and today it is our great pleasure to have Danny and Simon here with us. Hi guys, it's way too early for Simon this morning. It's 5am, we're in Vietnam, we've got a great episode lined up. This morning, my friend picked up Simon and Danny at the hotel. I predict that we will have about 20 to 25 cars today and we'll have some great fun soon. Hi. So now we are in Ho Chi Minh City. Our plan is we'll go to a place north of Ho Chi Minh City. It's about 70 kilometers from here. Everyone is here, and now we just have breakfast. There we will see the Jeep guy go under the water, submerged. Uh, basically, the whole car will be in the water. And then after that, we have some lunch, and then in the afternoon, maybe we go to the beach, where we have fun on the sand dune. Then we'll come back to the city around 6 to 7 p.m. In the street you can see a lot of 4x4 vehicles, but not many of them use it as an off-road car. And because of the world, we have a lot of Jeep, military Jeep. Today we'll have almost every kind of off-road 4x4 cars in the club. We'll have a one dot ram, one Rubicon, several M151, A2 Jeeps, and several CJ5, one or Willys, a Pachero, FJ Cruiser, Land Cruiser. So that's about the car we use for off-road in Vietnam. So this is it, we uh, almost arrived to the uh, location where we'll have some jeeps go under the water. 
now we just stopped by one of our friends' workshop and people are preparing the car for the show. They put on a very, very long snorkel as well as the exhaust system. Also the snorkel for the driver and the co-driver. We'll have some fun with the water because today we we'll mostly have the Jeep. The other car will just come to uh, cheese up the uh, atmosphere. There was no off-road in Vietnam four years ago. We don't have 4x4 four four vehicle. mostly come from the government fleet. This is sponsored by the UN for the agricultural plan or the health care projects. Everyone just use their car as any car, you know, it's just four wheel drive, they have no idea. And then we start to have some car and we operate, we put it in the winch and then take it out there, have some fun in the muds. It was a bit strange, you know, people look at it and say, these guy may be a bit crazy, or what are they doing with the cars? They don't, I didn't understand. And eventually, we have more and more people joining us, then clubs were created in Ho Chi Minh City or as well as in Hanoi. And then we organize event, competition event, prototype or adventure type. Now, after four years, off-road has become a sport in Vietnam, recognized by the government. People look at it as a sport, not a, like a crazy hobby by some crazy guys. So today, off-road is a big thing in Vietnam. We've had a very leisurely drive through the outskirts of Ho Chi Minh, travelling north to some lovely countryside. Now here we are, we've arrived at this lake and have a look, this is absolutely phenomenal. Now unbelievably, these guys in their jeeps are telling me that they're not only going to drive into this water, drive through it with their jeeps underwater, they're actually going to set up some pontoons and a propeller on one of the jeeps, they're going to drive across the lake. Can't wait to see that. Tune in next week when Danny and myself continue this amazing 4x4 adventure from Vietnam. Hi, my name's Trevor and I'm from Donaldson Filtration. Today I'm going to talk about coolant. Your full drive's cooling system is designed to get rid of heat from your engine. Your coolant's job is to transfer that heat, stop corrosion, line of cavitation and give you both antifreeze and boil over protection. Poor maintenance of cooling systems can cause many embarrassing and expensive breakdowns. When replacing coolant, drop the bottom radiator hose or remove the drain plug depending on your vehicle. To make sure you remove as much of the existing coolant as possible, flush the system with radiator flush, followed by a flush of clean water. Before you refill your system with new coolant, check the condition of your radiator, heater hoses and clamps. Hoses should be soft and supple, replace if necessary. Refill the system with new coolant to the required level. Check all the hoses and drain plugs for leaks. Run the engine until the thermostat opens to get rid of any air in the system. Check the leaks again, check the coolant level and top up as required. Always remember, your cooling system is pressurised so allow your engine to cool before removing your radiator cap. Make sure you protect your skin and eyes from contact with coolants and dispose of any used coolant and radiator flush according to your local environmental laws. You should never mix unknown coolants together. Some combinations can react badly, creating a gel that can block your heater and radiator cores. If you have to top up your four wheel drive's cooling system with water, make it a priority to flush and refill your cooling system when you get home. For more information, visit fourwheeldrivetv.com.au and follow the links.
Holden's toughest 4x4 ever has arrived. Introducing the all-new Holden Colorado 7. It comes with seven seats as standard and it's loaded with serious off-road grunt. You'll get three-ton towing and the awesome 470 newton meter Duramax diesel engine, plus an impressive waiting depth and hill descent control, all for the hardcore adventurer. The all-new Holden Colorado 7 is here. Take it off-road at your Holden dealer today. Finally, the driving light you've always wanted is here, boasting a class-leading free-form reflector and a super-tough polycarbonate lens and ABS housing. The all-new Nava Ultimate 225 is a revolutionary driving light, available in halogen, halogen blue and HID, in both spread and pencil beams, and supplied complete with a plug-and-play wiring harness and polycarbonate lens protectors. These Aussie Outback Tough Lights outshine the competition. Visit nava.com.au for more information and make the switch to the brightest lights in town. Total recovery and extraction device, TREAD. Whether it's sand, mud, snow, rocks or any tough terrain, TREAD is the ultimate all-in-one recovery device. Designed and manufactured in Australia for rugged performance, TREAD will let you explore with confidence. Available in a variety of colours and two easy to use sizes, TREAD is the true Aussie traction board you've been waiting for. For more information, visit meanmother.com.au. Right, well here we are on one of these old log bridges and it certainly has been worked hard. It's looking quite perilous, there's a couple of spots where we think a car may possibly leap through there, wouldn't be a good thing. We've got some of the tread boards here, now it's not something that you would normally use as a ramp, they're not weight bearing as such, but they're tough enough, we're going to double them up, give it a crack, let's see how we go. When facing this bridge late in the afternoon on day four of our recent trip through Tasmania, we quickly realised that we had no other choice but to find a safe way forward. This part of the track was well overgrown with no room to turn around. The gully was far too deep and treacherous to traverse and retracing our steps would have left us with an excessively long haul to get to camp that evening. Fortunately for us, travelling with ingenious and highly experienced four-wheel drivers, we are in a position where we can often push products well beyond their intended use. This lets us test the real makeup of accessories and if they can handle controlled abuse at the hands of the experts, then they will safely perform as per the directed use for you every single time. In this particular case, it's important to note that the Aussie manufacturers of Tread in no way advise or endorse the use of their product as a bridge. It's a recovery traction aid, not a bridge, but we had no choice and the opportunity to safely load test them under controlled but real world circumstances was too good to pass up. Plus, we all wanted to get to camp quickly and safely. So please do not replicate what we are doing and understand that we are using tread outside of its specifications. Whilst it did work, even when we had to cover two separate holes and had the weight of each vehicle passing over a single tread, it should be clear that we voided our warranty and that tread are in no way liable for any damages if you do the same. That said, I was damn well impressed with how the units bore such weight vehicle after vehicle. So whilst this video serves as another great four-wheel drive TV torture test, we strongly advise that with this and any other quality 4x4 product, always follow the instructions provided. Well, the heaviest vehicle through there was definitely my GU Patrol. And the tread, I have to say, I'm absolutely wrapped, very impressed with that. She's definitely got a bend in it. You can see that it's taken considerable load, but there is not a single crack, any damage at all apart from that bend. And as far as mud goes, or sand, 
these are still able to give plenty of traction. So it's still a serviceable item. Tread 4x4, absolutely awesome. This week we feature the last King of the Rim race from the Scenic Rim Adventure Park just south of Brisbane. Opening up our highlights reel, we kick off with Mick from Superior Engineering with the new breed of rock racers coming into the country. A unique and tough shootout, this round featured extensive courses littered with open speed sections and tight perilous rock obstacles. Competitors came from Queensland and New South Wales to compete and numerous classes split the field up. And with Queensland now holding more events than just about the rest of the country combined, I am sure we will be seeing a lot more from this neck of the woods in the months to come. Stay tuned to 4 Drive TV for all the latest 4x4 action and excitement. The next generation of shock absorbers is here. Leading the way in 4x4 suspension development, Old Man Emu introduces the most advanced and finely tuned shock absorber on the market. Nitro Charger Sport incorporates a new valving system that instantly adapts to all terrain for an outstanding smooth ride and phenomenal control. Backed by a three year 60,000 kilometre warranty, you can trust Nitro Charger Sport, built in Australia for Australian conditions. Do you need more from your four-wheel drive suspension? Designed for Aussie conditions, Superior Engineering has a suspension solution to suit any four-wheel drive. Mix and match from the widest range of specialty suspension components or opt for the latest in spring and dampening technologies. Throw in the widest range of 4x4 suspension accessories and Superior Engineering is your complete 4x4 and suspension specialist. Superior Engineering, it's engineered to be superior. For more information, visit superiorengineering.com.au Warning, water in fuel is one of the biggest killers of diesel engines, but there is now a unique alarm system available that lets you know when there are dangerous water levels in your fuel system. WaterWatch is a simple and effective fuel alarm that offers LED and audible warning signals. Easily fitted, WaterWatch is inexpensive insurance for your vehicle. Avoid huge repair costs, ensure your motor runs clean and be warned of any water issues with the innovative WaterWatch. For more information, visit waterinddiesel.com.au. Hi guys, I'm Shane. This is my 80 series. I've got a winch bar, a UHF, a set of muddies, draw system in the back, 
full size roof rack, petrol gas, snorkel, old 27 meg sideband set, have a bit of fun when we go away. We've got about a two and a half inch suspension lift. Future plans are to get a 145 litre long range fuel tank for the main tank. I'll get a pair of spotties for it soon. And probably a three inch exhaust. Do a bit of driving up around Lurdy Der Gorge up through there, down to Kingston in South Australia on the beach. Do a fair bit of fishing down there. Next big trip will be probably in a year and a half. Plan to go up to Cape York. Spend about six weeks up there. Good reliable old rig. She's got about 330,000 Ks on the clock. Never lets me down. Love to get out and about with the family and the dog. Have a ball. If you'd like to join us for our next Your Rig trip, then email myself with your details. Each weekly winner takes home a cap and stubby holder courtesy of all sat phones, a pair of scissors thanks to Keesler knives, a promo pack courtesy of ARB including Forby the plush toy, a travel mug, the latest ARB cap, the latest ARB jacket, and a set of valve caps to bling your rig. There's an ARB Penrith stubby holder, a Manel Motors stubby holder, a U-Fix-It tyre ratchet set, there's a copy of Dirt Cop magazine and Wild Deer and Hunting Adventures magazine, a set of the Australian design expander pegs, a stubby of Bundaberg ginger beer, an up and go breakfast replacement courtesy of Sanitarium, a pen and cap thanks to Berrima Diesel and DP Chip, a set of four wheel drive TV medium stickers, and it's all neatly packaged up in an ARB cargo gear carry bag. Thanks Simon and Miranda and Danny and all the sponsors. Thanks for checking out my rig. Hi, I'm Ian Blaney and I'm Vice President of the Jackaroo Four Wheel Drive Club. The club has approximately 60 members in Melbourne and this evening at one of our general meetings we've been lucky enough for General Motors to provide two of their own Colorado vehicles, a standard Colorado Ute and the new Colorado 7 and Simon's brought along his new Colorado and it's already been tricked out. So we're very lucky and appreciate the fact that General Motors have responded to our request and come along tonight. Hi there, I'm Scott Dowdy, Holden's Vehicle Performance Manager. I'm here with Simon Christie and a few of our four-wheel drives at the Jackaroo Club Night. We've got three vehicles here, one of which Simon's modified pretty heavily to show some of the potential of the vehicle, and a couple of stand ones so that the club members can see what the Holden products look like today. We've got two vehicle types here in the Holden range. We've got the Colorado pickup, which comes in a regular cab, extended cab and crew cab pickup, and cab chassis variants. And we've also got the SUV, the brand new Colorado 7. So the Jackaroo Club here is pretty keen to see this latest product because it's been 10 years since Holden's had a serious off-road vehicle. So I'm sure there's going to be a few interested people looking forward to seeing the new product tonight. The club generally is involved in family related activities but we run a variety of trips, everything from one day and social events up to extended trips across the deserts and so on. The club runs quite a few different trips of different types, um, varying from one day trips, weekend trips, base camp type trips and we'll also run extended trips from time to time where members might want to go away for two or three weeks at a time. The trips, we probably run two, three trips a month, depending on the nature of the trips. We also have a driver training program in operation that runs with the Four Wheel Drive Victoria driver training guidelines. And we're running a major function up in the Pyrenees Ranges at a little town called Moonambel, where we'll have our sister clubs from South Australia and New South Wales operating with us. This is a, an annual event, and this year we've got over 80 odd vehicles attending that particular function. And again, General Motors have been very good to us and are supporting us with the loan of a demo vehicle as well as other support that they've provided for the function. 
The club originally started out as a Jackaroo Vehicle Club many years ago. We have all types of vehicles, from everything from the hardcore four-wheel drives down to perhaps some of the softer core vehicles. If you want more information about the Jackaroo Four-Wheel Drive Club, go to our website and also we have a link through to Four-Wheel Drive Victoria's club site so we're readily accessible and we're open to all types of people with a variety of different interests. So it's around 10 years ago that that was discontinued, so it's on power train chassis. Tried some of the Colorados, the old one actually went really well and found some pretty serious off-road. Hi, I'm Roger Edels and Shane Sheridan picking the car at the moment. As you can see, we're in the sunny state Queensland and it's a beautiful day, apparently for the frogs, maybe not necessarily us. We're here at City View Four Drive Park at Bow Desert. It's not far from Brisbane. It's nice family oriented four drive park. It offers a variety of tracks for people who want to come out for the day or for the weekend. But then we've got some very hardcore rocks out here for us guys, which is quite hard to find. Whether you're a comp guy like us, or a family, or just a guy who likes to come out and have a bit of fun, and there's a bit of everything for everyone here. We've come here to compete and rumble the rocks. It's been very challenging on the tracks and us humans, but not much we can do about it. Had a bit of an average start. We popped a tyre, but that's competition, I guess. And now we're fixing car from today's stage. Had a few engine troubles trouble keeping it running, getting power. Come down a big drop off, did a very slow roll. And then we end up breaking the steering a bit further down. So we're just trying to get the car ready for the next stage. It's Willy's Jeep. It's got a Nissan SR20 turbocharged motor. It runs the nitrous oxide. It's got a power glide, customized transfer case, custom diffs, four wheel steer. This event is the stuff we like to drive in it and Tough Truck is another good one. So we went to Tough Truck last year. Unfortunately, we broke early. I think we've ironed out all the bugs. We're gonna go down and have a bare crack and hopefully do all right. If you're coming down to Tough Truck, come and say hello and we'll see you out in the tracks. Well, viewers, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Four Wheel Drive TV. I'm Simon Christie. And remember, tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. I look forward to your company next week.